I thought this might help. Probably would. Well, why don't you use it? Uh. You fancy me, don't you? You could say that. Just did. Sticks out a mile. <laughs> I've seen the looks you give me. You'd love to touch me, wouldn't you? Uh. I'd give anything to get out of this place. Anything? That's what I said. Oh, oh. You can have more than that if you help me. What do you mean? You could leave the back gardener's gate open, couldn't you? It's more than my job's worth. I thought you fancied me. I do. I'll be at the gate at nine. Make sure it's open. Yeah, right. Mm. Bring an old pair of trousers with you. Oh, and an old jumper.
awfully sorry. That's what they all say. Is it? You know, you're just about the most blatant shoplifter yet. Did you expect to get away with it? I suppose so. That's the trouble with your generation. Will you get me Inspector Lomax? Are you calling the police? Of course. Please don't. I'll pay for the stuff. You should have thought of that before. There's only one way to teach you people a lesson. Not to be interrupted. I'm having a meeting. <clears throat> yeah. hmm. As it is the first offence. It, 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 it is the first offence. <laughs> Tell me to go. No, I think it's time. Right. What on earth do you think you are doing? I paid for these, didn't I? You stole them. Now you put them back or I'll call the police. employment exchange and we don't ask me where it is because I don't know. But don't you work? I'm an actress. Really? Oh, I'm sorry I bothered you. So I, I'd ask for your autograph but I haven't, I haven't got any paper. But really I've never met an actress before. Got a sweet tooth. 
Oh, yeah. I haven't got much money, and I thought these might keep me going for a while. I've got to go to an audition now. Look, why did you come round to my place tonight? My roommate cooks the best spaghetti in London. Really? Oh, thanks a lot. I'll give you the address. Get off at Camden Town, then ask. I must go. I'll see you tonight, then. or something, inviting some strange girl around and expecting me to do the cooking. You do it. I told her you made the best spaghetti in London. Oh, yeah, and I suppose you also told her you were the greatest actress since God was a boy. She asked for my autograph. <laughs> she must have been out of her tiny mind. It'd be great if she could muck in with us, though. Well, I like it the way it is. Got to pay the rent, haven't we? Where is she working? I don't know. I'll ask her. Well, there's not much point if she's not. I mean, what the hell can she do? As long as you can bum around all day. That's all you ever think about. You can talk. Is it my fault I'm not working? Well, maybe if you stopped dreaming and realised you were never going to become an actress. Shut up, will you? I'm telling you, she's a nut. When old Philpot comes around next rent day, she'll pay it. They're always scheming. Not scheming, just being realistic. If we give that old lecher what he wants every month, that'll cover the rent. You fucking darling, I couldn't face it. I'm not talking about us. Our roommate can do the work. Maybe you've got a point. Hi. Hello. Good morning. By the way, my name's Angela. Maria. Sit down, then. Oh, um, this is Cam. Hello, Maria. Hello. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Did your audition go today? Oh, great. Producer thought I was very good. I bet. You do like spaghetti, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'll eat anything. Well, that's good. I spent the whole afternoon cooking it. Really? It's Karen's speciality. I'll get it. the YWCA at this time of night. Anyway, you won't be putting us to any trouble. We insist, don't we? We wouldn't dream of letting you sleep in the park. Are you sure? Yeah, we like you, Maria. Been busy. Don't you have to get ready for anything? What day is it? Uh, Tuesday, I think. That's okay then. 
I don't have to move if I do want to until Friday. And neither do I. Oh, quite the little mother, aren't you? Only trying to be helpful. Well, that's about time someone did something around here. I like housework. Look, I'll clean this place up real nice for you. And you got a job? Oh, I ain't got nothing. Oh, you must have something. No. Oh, I better not say. Oh. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. You see, I ran away from the school I was at. An approved school. Police after you? I suppose so. I was a long way away from here, Northumberland. They won't find me here. Oh, London would be the first place they'd look. Not that they'd stand much chance of finding you, though. Don't you mind? Why should we? You're just doing your thing. What were you there for? Oh, nothing, really. Count off it. No. My mum put me in a home when I was a baby. I've been in all kinds of institutions ever since. They were going to look after me till I was 18. If they'd have found my mum, well, I'd been out by now. Well, why don't you? Well, find her. Mm. I'd like to. Maybe I will. She used to write to me. She used to live at Ballam. Oh, but it'll cost money. Oh, we'll give you a couple of pounds. Would you? I really can't afford the time to go to New York on a wild goose chase. But, uh, since it's for you, Lord Lindley, I'll make an exception. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, uh, what can I do for you? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be taking up your time. You've been so busy and all. Oh, that's all right. Well? It's my mum. I've got this. This is the last address I had. At least I think it is. I'd like you to find her for me. It costs money. Oh. Oh, well, perhaps not too much. I've got two pounds. If it costs any more, well, I could always get a job. If my present assignment pays me a hundred a day, plus expenses. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I'm look, wasting your time. As I am not doing too badly, I'll, uh... Do your favour. Shall I call it my good deed for the day? The least I work for is uh, 25 a day. Forget the expenses. I couldn't possibly get that much money. But didn't I say I was going to do you a favour? Good deed of the day? As a matter of fact, I need some station and the uh, two quid will go towards that. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Do you want me to help you? Oh, yes. It's just I haven't got the money on me. I'll have to go back and get it. Look, forget it. Bring it round when you can. Like, uh, tomorrow. At last. I thought so. But we have got a proposition. Oh. Not me. We've got a roommate, you see. She saw you in the hall and she fancies you. Oh. Well, since you're always suggesting that if we perform for you, we needn't pay the rent, I thought you might like her. Where is she? Come back to see me and you'll be paid in full. <laughs> Romeo, 
Romeo, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Romeo. Do you have to do that right now? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't get used to the time in this room. I'll wait till you're finished. Do you think I could have a bath? Yeah, that's all so. Thanks. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, um, we bought this for you. Thought you might like it. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to have a bath now. I'll put it on off. Oh, good. But I thought knickers were still in. I've only got one pair, and they're dirty. Well, you might have asked. You've got knots, if you don't mind foot and mouth. Hey. You got any soap? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You've got spare fun, I see. Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I'd better get ready now. Jesus, he'll be here in a minute. Where are you going? Just out. Can I come? Sorry. There's plenty of magazines for you to read. Won't be long. If you want to borrow any clothes, just help yourself. Thanks. We should walk up and down this bloody street. We could go and have a coffee, but it wouldn't seem right. That old bastard's probably tearing the clothes off her at this moment. We hope. Have you thought what's going to happen if she doesn't go along with him? You'll have to start working again. You can forget it. I've kept you long enough. I still don't understand why you chucked your job in. Because I got sick to death of keeping you. One week's all I've had so far, and I don't intend starting that all over again. Selfish bitch. Doing. Get out. Come on, love. I've got real hot pants for you. What? Let's be having you. What? You like me, don't you? Your pal said you want it, and I've come to see that you get it. Who are you? This is my problem. Well, I'm not. We made a, a, a pact, your pals and me. I'm having you, or you and your pals are turned out in the street. Understand? Sort of. Yes. No, stay like that. I like it better that way. I think we've been out long enough. We haven't given him much time. Jesus, he's had an hour. Feels more like two. Why did I let you talk me into making Maria face that dirty old man? Oh, Christ. Why don't you shut up? You should have told her. What could we have said? something. Oh, yeah. Like Maria, our disgustingly fat, lecherous landlord is coming round and we'd like you to go to bed with him because we can't pay the rent. Something like that.
Look, I'm sorry about old Potbelly. Yeah, we're really sorry, Maria. Well, that's okay. You could have warned me. You didn't mind that fat sloth? Oh, he's all right. I've got to pull my weight. With the time coming up at 10 o'clock, let's have our final call. This one's for Jenny Spencer. She lives at Rook's Farm in Cranfield. I hope you're Well, how do I look? Oh, sit down and have some breakfast. I'm going for an audition. Would you like to come with me, Mary? Thanks, I'd love to. Come on, then. Aren't you coming? What do you think? Well, see you later. Bye. I'm on the line in California, will you? Who's next? Not you, honey. I'll see you later. You're next. Let's go. How long do you reckon it will take? Can't tell. Sometimes they move quickly, but who knows? I think I'll go, if you don't mind. I've got to go and see this detective about finding my mum. I'll meet you later. Okay, bye. See you. bye. Who the hell gives a shit about art? Don't give me this heartache. All we want are tits and asses, bare flesh. You understand? And if the broads are stupid, then so much the better. All right, all right. I'd just like once in my life to make a movie not aimed at the meat market. You think I wouldn't, King Baby? I promise you, the next one's gonna be a classic. I've been toying with the idea of Julius Caesar. Now, get the next one in, will you? A uh, schmuck. Next. This is Mr. Shulton, the producer. And I am King Rita, the director. Uh, not yet, baby. Open your mouth. Oof. Teeth. Teeth are very important. Okay, now, what experience have you had? Oh, a few commercials. I was in rep for two years after I left drama school. Fine. Your agent's read the script. Yeah, she thinks it's fantastic. Does the nudity worry you? A little. Well, it shouldn't, because I'm making a quality picture. And after all, it would be laughable if you stayed dressed for the love scenes. Who gets out of bed with their clothes on? That was all right in the Rita Schwartz days. But today, young kids, young kids, they take their clothes off. They make love. I don't have to tell you. Just throw the producer your legs, darling. A little higher, baby. A little higher? 
Yeah. Uh, they'll do. Uh, do you want me to read? Oh, yeah. The reading. Now, this picture is going to cans. And we need a great actress. What I'm after is a... Well, there's a young Bette Davis. Now, let's hear you. Starving. Do you mind? Be my guest. Did you manage to go to the house yourself? No. Well, how do you know it was the right place? Oh, I've worked with the Salvation Army before. They don't make mistakes. But so quickly? My business, you can't afford to be slow. Which reminds me, uh, did you bring the money? Yeah. I'm afraid I couldn't get any more, though. Perhaps you can make a deal on the rest. What's with you? I really feel I'll get this part. I can't believe it. Where's Maria? Oh, sod Maria. I'm telling you, Karen, this is it. I even take a reform to care. Big deal. Well, just let's see whether you get the part before we start celebrating, hmm? I can't stop thinking about him. I feel drunk, I'm so happy. Did Maria get back yet? I just asked you where you'd left her. She went to see a detective. Well, who are you looking for, honey? A friend of mine. She came to see you this afternoon. Never mind. I'll find her. Hi. Oh, I'm back for you. Oh, that was really stupid. Well, I thought you'd still be there. How'd you get on? I think I got it. Fantastic. I think I found my mum. Oh, I bet you're pleased. I say. When are you going to see her? Dunno. Probably tomorrow. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Carter. Well, what do you want? You're Mrs. Carter? Yeah, who wants to know? Mum, it's me. Don't you remember me? Oh, my God. Here, who sent you here? If I'd known you were coming, I'd have moved. Perhaps I shouldn't have come. Well, you have come at rather an inconvenient time to say the least. I'm silently praying Maria's mother won't want her to live with her. Let's pop into a church on the way back. Church? People just don't do that now. Well, we do want a roof kept over our heads, don't we? It's the damned authorities. If they could find us, they'd want us to take you all back. All? Yes, the whole bloody lot of you. Of course. You wouldn't know. You've got three sisters and two brothers. Now, what would I do if they all turned up? Oh, man, you should want to take us all back. Oh, not bloody likely. Here, the others ain't complaining. Why should you? Oh, we'll stay then. Don't think you're not welcome, dear. We haven't got any room to put you up. That's OK, Mum. I'm staying with an actress friend anyway. Now, you take care, Maria. I've heard about the goings-on in the film business. Why, there was only that case in the papers last Sunday. Here, I must go. Bye now, Maria. Let me know if you become a star. You know, you're a good girl, Maria. Oh, thanks. You're not so bad yourself, you old lecher. I want you to take these. I've had the locks changed. Bye. Bye. Give him what he wants. 
I was wondering, could Karen and Angela come and stay here for a few days? With them it wouldn't be a few days. Would it matter? Certainly. This is our love nest, yours and mine. Ah, oh, but they've got this horrible little room. It's so grim. Whatever they've got, they can't afford. I pity the bloke who owns the place. Nothing but trouble, those two. How about making me a nightcap? What have you just had? <laughs> Are you staying all night? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. yes. Mm. You should have phoned me by now. I don't know how you can live in a place like this. Oh, we haven't all got sugar daddies. You can have him if you want him. No, thanks. Not to worry. Won't be here much longer. Why? Where are you going? South of France. A sound of the earl, to be precise. Who with? Ritzy Films. You got the part? What? Well, more or less. Anyway, I'll get something. They've shortlisted three girls and I'm one of them. Yeah. Hey, that's great. And if she gets it, then she's going to ask them if I can be an extra. Can you get me in it too? No, I'm not Liz Taylor yet. Anyway, who want you? You're a bit, um... A bit what? Full breasty, it's not to be crude. I'm no bigger than you. Oh, come off it. <laughs> it's just I don't wear a bra. It makes them look bigger. Oh, floppier. Hello? You don't like oh, yeah. Do. What gives you that idea? Yeah. You don't want me to go with you? Great. Stop being so don't you think maybe that she's just feeling like a superstar at the moment? And come along right now. Okay. Oh, I gotta go. You coming with me? Where? Oh, Ritzy Films! They want to see me again! Great. You call that a script? Why, well, you couldn't write your mother. You've had it for weeks. Why didn't you say something before? I only just read it, and it's crap. You want to make a great movie. The way I understood it, you wanted to make a meat movie. Visual, for the masturbating millions. Listen to this. Rosemary says to Sandra, the moon shimmers across your breasts and dips like a hungry finger into your navel. Who the hell talks like that? Tell me. They love each other. Christ, they'd have to. How much we paid you? Nothing. Don't get smart. What's the contract say? Hundred pounds when I signed, hundred pounds on delivery, and five percent of the profit, which I'll never see. What's the matter, baby? Don't you trust me? Yet I must have been out of my mind to give you a deal like that. Here, take this crap, and you can forget the last hundred. We don't want it. I thought it was a great line. Well, it wasn't bad. I planned the shot. Perhaps you'd tell me how you plan to get the moon dipping in her navel. Torch bulb. I got it all worked out. See. Hey. Listen. I'm not interested in that arty, crafty rubbish. We're making a cheap nudie. Now get up! You've got to believe in the project. If you don't, it's nothing. Listen, baby. The only thing I believe in is money. 
tits and asses. That's what we're making. Sheer pornography. Yes, but done with taste. You still got your script? Yes, shall I give it back to Kyle? Then what'll we shoot? How many out there? Five. But well, we only got three lined up. One of them brought two friends along. I'll have them wait out here. Yeah. No, wait. Send her in. We'll get her friends in, too. Who knows? Maybe they're better than the dogs we've got. Tell her to bring her friends in with her. Yeah. Well, ladies, make yourselves comfortable. I'm sorry, we shouldn't be here. The girl outside sent us in. Yes, it's me you wanted to see. Well, I believe in making everyone feel comfortable. I'm sure your friends here will uh, help you relax. Sit down, will you? All of you. Your script, King, baby. From the top. Which character? Oh, it doesn't matter. Why don't you get your friend there to read the other part? No, uh, not you, honey. The other one. What's your name? Maria. You do Sandra and I'll be Rosemary. I love you, Rosemary, like the moon in June. I don't know why I took you to. Showing off. Look, I'm awfully sorry. Should bloody well hope so. You get the part I've been dreaming about all my life. And they throw us two in as your handmaidens Leave or whatever her it's alone. supposed to be. At least we get a free holiday. I've always wanted to go to France. I don't have to do it. That's an idea. You could ring them up and say you're ill or something. A lot of use that would do. I get the feeling if she doesn't get the part, you won't. And then none of us will be in the picture. Maybe you're right. They can't act. They don't have to. All they got to do is take their clothes off. You'll be better off with strippers. Why pay 15 pounds a body when you can get it for 10? Maybe, but at least you know where you stand. What are these girls going to do when they get to the heavy stuff? You're the director. You'll get a performance. Ah. Yell, where are you? Location's fixed? Yeah. I got a little place. Cheap. Ten a day at two pound a head. Christ, we don't want the Dorchester. What's the best I could do? Twenty pounds a day for accommodation, and we gotta feed the bastards, too. Well, we'll just have to knock it down to eight people, that's all. Film stars. I wish I had your faith. I'm just going to make us some coffee. Oh, well, that's nice. Have we got time? Just about. Do you get back all right, Maria? Yes, after waiting hours for a bus. Oh, we took a taxi. I thought you didn't have any money. We found some change. Oh, I thought I'd thrown you two out. Oh, they're only staying a few minutes. Then we're all going. I only came to see you off, Oh, you needn't have bothered. They're sending a car for you. Who'll send a car for you? Ritzy Films, that's who. Next thing you'll be telling me it's a Rolls Royce. What else? Comfortable in the back there? That goddamn reader. Big shot director. The cameraman's car isn't good enough for him. It's car Jack. Car sick, my ass. If that bastard gets on that stinking train, the ticket's coming out of his wages. That old king is a piece of the action. Piece of the profits, baby. A piece of the profits. When do we arrive at Sarah Fear? One thing at a time, lady. This is an international production. 
We're doing the English part first. I booked you into a, well, a high-class hotel. Only the best is good enough for you, lovely lady. High-class hotel? His idea of high-class and mine aren't exactly compatible. Some international production. <laughs> I'm beginning to think it's a cheap one. Now, what do you know about Your first film, your first part, and already you're an expert. You were rude. Oh, you were, I suppose. I wish you two would stop being so bitchy. I can't wait for the film. I wish they'd change the title. Reach for the moon. <laughs> Sounds a bit crap. Where's your romantic vision? Reach for the moon. Can't you see the poster? shooting here for a couple of days. Look, I've only got this off the freeze. Yeah, if you don't die of pneumonia first. Isn't there any heat in this room? Not a thing. It's a good job we've got the weekend before we get down to it. I couldn't work today if I were dying. Yeah, they're taking us out to dinner tonight, aren't they? I think so. God, what a dump. And you gave us the big spiel about being a film star. You can keep it. Oh, come on, let's go and have some breakfast. We might feel better with something warm inside us. Morning, ladies. Had your breakfast yet? We're just going. I just want to have a word with Maria. You two run along. She'll catch up to you. Come on, ladies. Don't forget. Just one egg. Now, baby, I want to talk to you. I just want you to know that I got great plans for you. This is just the beginning. I got another picture lined up for August and plan to use you again. I may get uh, Meston to play the male lead. If you have any problems, I want you to come to me. What sort of problems? Just anything, you know. Oh, come on, baby, you can do better than that. Oh, is this a rehearsal? Oh, yeah, sort of. Oh, wait a minute now, hold on, honey. What's the material, baby? I mean, Jack Shilton, he's, uh, Pretty generous, you know, making movies for all you kids. But every once in a while, I like to kind of let loose. Go out and buy myself a nice little gift. You know what I mean. Now, you take this shirt. You like it? Nice, isn't it? Imported silk from Japan. I don't skimp when it comes to key scenes, you know. You like that? Listen, baby. I don't want to get any petty cash vouchers for this, right? All right, okay, let's get on with it. I'll be glad when we get to San Rafael. Boiled egg. I was expecting croissant coffee by now. It wasn't even cooked. I can't stand it when it's all slimy. Maybe we'll find something better around the corner. Jack will probably take Maria out for her breakfast. How? She's probably getting it in the room right now. And I don't mean a boiled egg. No? That's great! Great! It's supposed to be a castle. The logic doesn't run to palaces. Where's your imagination? The orgy scene calls for a castle. This place is no bigger than a bloody coal hole. Like I said, baby, where's your imagination? That's what I'm paying you for. Oh, for God's sake. And another thing. I want the real thing. Copulation. None of your artistic simulation, because that costs money in the cutting room. Fucking, baby. I don't care if you have to drug them. With 85 couples in a room this size, you'll have to provide the crew with protective clothing and rubber boots. It's a female orgy. <laughs> Not anymore. The day the Rita Schwartz movie is dead. If they want their pound of flesh, we'll give them a fucking ton! Ha! I 
think it's time you young lovely ladies went to bed. We got a big day tomorrow and the first day of shooting is always tough. What time in the morning? Did you get a call sheet? Uh, I'm not What's that? Never mind, never mind. Things will straighten out as we go along. You'll be picked up at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, okay? Good night now. King, you're making my nerves bad. I want to line up the shots for tomorrow. One of those girls must have taken my script up with her. We're not using one. You may be able to work with that one. I damn well can't. Well, that's the way it's going to be, baby. If you don't like it, I can always get another director. There's a hundred guys waiting for this chance. Crew organized? They're right, first thing. You laid on transport. Well, I did a deal with the cameraman. We use his car for the gear and any other bloody thing we want. How much? We're paying his petrol. Jesus Christ. He'll end up getting a whole pad of petrol bills from his gas station. And I'll end up paying him more than I'm going to make out of this bloody film. Well, how much can he put in it? I mean, it's ten pounds a week. What's that? Twenty-five pounds? That's not going to break. Jesus Christ. I can't afford ten pounds a week. You'll make a fortune, and you know it. Son of a bitch. I'll be lucky if I make a penny out of this goddamn pile of crap. Who the hell pays me for wasted time? Where the hell is he? Come in. Come on, we haven't got all day, for Christ's sake. Top hat. We're not shooting a goddamn epic holder. You'll have to wait. I can't get enough light. Who the hell cares? Let's get the bloody thing going. Come on, get the camera in there turning. But you're wasting stock. I don't give a shit. Come on, get on with it. What others? We need 13. Well, we got three. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Listen, dum-dum, they can run past the camera, behind, then past again. Where's your imagination? Has it not occurred to you that the audience will recognize them? Listen, baby, the audiences we get won't know the difference between one ass and another, and that's what they're getting. You're the director now, go and direct. Flesh in the fields, scene one, take one. Well, are you ready? Ready. Action! <laughs>
girls, you've got beautiful bodies. Come on, darlings, let's do it again. You've got beautiful bodies, show them, for God's sake. I'm not used to running around naked in front of a load of men. I spent two years at drama school. Well, they don't notice they're doing a job of work. It's cold potatoes to them. Now, come on, darlings, let's try it again, shall we? <laughs> yes. King baby, get a shot at a bouncer in Bristol. Who's directing this goddamn film? All I'm telling you is to get a close shot at a bouncer in Bristol. All right, okay. all right. Come on, action. We didn't put the slates. Not the slates. What's the matter with you? Now, come on, for Christ's sake. Who's directing this goddamn movie? <laughs> Now, that's the regulation. Now, don't give me that bullshit about meal allowances. I thought you fixed up a place at three or six ahead. Jeez. What lens? Same lens for close-up. Some director, nine mils for close-ups. Get them going, baby. I've got everything in this picture, including my asshole. Well, never mind your asshole. Get the bounce in Bristol's. Come on, baby. That's the stuff. Move them around. No. That's it. Yeah. Little more. Little more. Shake them. Shake them up. Yeah. Up. Up. That's the stuff. Ah, oh, mom. I'll be glad when this is all over. Me too. My goose pimples are getting scabs on them. So bloody cold. Yeah. Who said we were going to go to France after a few days? That's what they told me. Well, I don't think we're going to go. Why not? Well, we've been here two weeks. Anyway, I heard Jack say something about an end of picture party. I'll ask Jack. Oh, I should leave it for a bit. Doesn't look too happy to me. Oh, God, here comes King Wright. Hi, girls. Everybody happy? I thought we were going to San Rafael. The air in Broadstairs is better. Have you ever seen such a pile of crap? Well, you hired a proper theatre, it might not look so bad. What? Throw good money after bad? Well, once a week would be too much, surely. Bad acting, out of focus, and now neg scratches. What have I done? Well, I told you his camera was a load of shit. You will make these all in deals. Make a play. Make a clay. Oh, that, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful, King Baby. Make a clay. Make a claim on what? to see a neck scratch. Are you sure you pick up the right brushes? Uh, you mean there could be another stupid cameraman? Are you out of your mind? Look, just look at it. Cameraman, son of a bitch director. Been with Shorten long? Too long. I always worked on big budgets. Just before I was up for this film, I was up for 16 weeks in the Bahamas. Well, oh, I don't want to be away from the family. You married? No, no. Just my mother. I like working on these small pictures. God, it's usually one week, one room, and two actors for short, and this is an epic. Can you see him? He was on the beach with Maria. Everybody's getting laid on this picture except me. Great waves. On my next picture, I'm going to park you. 
Julius Caesar walking on the water, followed by his naked troops. I tell you, honey, it will take the Academy Award. Doesn't it just put fire in your belly? That's fantastic. A movie about people for people. Something for everyone. How can you beat the classics? I plan to fit you into it, Maria. You can lead the troops. What do you say, baby? my room tonight. Come on, Maria, baby. Let's get on with the job in hand. <laughs> Maria, come back here. <laughs> Can't you wait till we're in bed? <laughs> Hold him for me, baby. This is the crux of the film, baby. I don't skimp when it comes to key scenes. Well, how much are you going to give them for the location allowance? Are you out of your mind? They're entitled to it. Christ, the next thing you know, it's going to cost me money to have a shit in this town. If only I could understand what you want. I might be able to perform a little better. But it's great. You're fine, darling. You're natural, and that's the way to be. Really? In this next scene, we're going to we're going for true realism. We're going to break through the film barriers. We're going to be the first. That's fantastic. Come on, let's get on with it. Move it. This is costing me money. Back. Come on, come on, hurry it up. Look, I don't have six pairs of pants. I can't stand all these people. Don't worry, we'll clear the set. I thought I'd never do a scene half naked unless it was completely in context with the script. Oh, I can assure you a change. We're trying to put across fact, not fantasy. Okay. But please clear the set. I will. I'll see you later. <laughs> right, now, everybody ready? Good. My worries? Oh, I can't set. Right, come on, let's go. Come on, hurry up. Right. Now then, everybody, look alive. Ready? Action! <laughs> get in there with the camera and get those swinging tits and balls. <laughs> Tear it off, Jack, baby! about three weeks when this film is cut and dubbed, we'll be having a premiere. A real big affair, you know, no expenses spared. Where do you want us to drop you girls? Camp Town. We'll drop them at the nearest tube station. The petrol on this film has been a real killer. You don't mind, do you, ladies? I didn't expect anything else.
keeping the place kosher for you, Maria. Hmm. When's he expecting you back? In a couple of weeks. Oh, good. That'll give us time to get the money out of Shulton and find ourselves a new place. Hmm. I was thinking about a penthouse apartment. Oh, on 20 pounds. She means when the percentage starts, babe. Yeah, when do they start making the profits? Fantastic. Get the door, will you, King? So, where are the searchlights? Jack said daylight premieres are the new trend. Oh, he's been filling you with his old baloney again. Oh, wow. Hey, look. World's Jack's company. Black and white. It's like watching a classic at the BFT. How did he get there? That must have been the pickup stuff. It's amazing. I wouldn't have thought Jack would pay for a horse. Probably a package deal. You've got the party to bring along your own horse. the atmosphere, didn't he? He never talked to us during shooting. But look at those results. Such a subtle director. I can't make out what it's all about. You're not supposed to. That's the trend today. <coughs> Angela didn't jump like that. Haven't you ever seen Hick Chester cutting before? Who's he? don't understand it. Nobody would expect you to. You're not a member of the BFT. I go there three times a week. <laughs> I think they were right to change the title. I think it cheapens it. I mean an art film of this caliber with a title like Flesh in the Fields. That's only the English translation. Jean Bon dans la Bois. That's the French title. I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> to the insensitive, that might have appeared crude, but in fact, King told me it was very symbolic. I don't know of what. Maybe when I've seen the film a few more times, I'll understand. No good film is totally comprehensible on the first viewing. I suppose you're right. Jack said it will be a sensation in Hamburg. Transition. That king really is some director. Why don't you watch the film and keep quiet? Oh, let him talk, King Baby. There's nothing here worth watching. I feel sick. You feel sick. Oh. King Baby, you blew another one. What's one among so many?
Maria, baby, I've made you a star. Do you really think so? You are marvelous. I look great. Well, come along, my little starlets. I'll take you out to supper and we can discuss my new film. We are making a real quality movie. I would have preferred to have seen the opening in the West End. You know, she's right. We're too big for these cinemas. Too much prestige. I went to see Flesh in the Fields expecting nothing, and I wasn't disappointed. Rita has never been able to use the canvas to its full advantage. He has a lot to learn about this medium. The three girls, who were used to symbolize the three Marys, came across exceptionally well. And in Maria Carter, we have a girl with the magnetic quality of a true actress. Ooh. Come on, let's go find a flat in Park Lane. Yeah, penthouse apartment. Oh, fantastic. Look, I found another one. Yeah? What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Phone Jack Short. Oh, you would. I think there's a phone up there. Hold this for me, Angela. Ringing. Hello? Maria, baby? I told you I had golden balls. For Christ's sake, Jack, that's Hollywood on the other phone. If you're nervous, King, go have a shit. I know how to handle these big shot Hollywood tycoons. Hold on a minute, Maria. What's he say? It's time to hold on. I it's the MGM. I got bad news for you. I just talked to Maria. She loves the script, but she's not interested in anything less than one and a half million dollars. But don't blame me, I'm on your side. I'd hope we were gonna do great things together. If it was a different proposition, maybe you'd have a chance of jumping the queue. But I can't tell three majors to go screw themselves when they're offering, well, you know, one and a half million dollars for Maria. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, baby. There's just a slight chance I can talk Maria into taking half a million dollars. If I produce and King directs. I love you, Jack, baby, but you're just not the producer for this film. What do you mean, King can't direct? He's made 26 pictures. He's the hottest director in England right now. He shoots so fast, he wouldn't know what to do with a four-week schedule. You're just not the producer for this kind of film. Don't give me that bullshit, baby. The cop directing Traffic in Piccadilly could direct a film if he had 20 weeks to do it in. Fuck the critics. What do they know about movies? That's the package, baby. You want Maria? You take us. I'm like a father to her. Take it or leave it. Half a million and you got yourself one hell of a deal. You got me by the fall, Jack, baby. And we got ourselves a deal. Right. Yeah. Okay.
Sorry, my real baby. Listen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. Listen, I'll put... Don't worry about the money, honey. I'll put you under a contract. Really? Thank you. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye. Jack Shorten wants to put me under personal contract. £25 a week. I'm going to see him this afternoon. Isn't that fantastic? Well, I wouldn't go to Hollywood without you. Ha <laughs> ha! 